Alright, this video was requested by Mr. No Ponky because I showed him this awesome GameCube that I had just done custom paint on and he wanted to be able to see the insides of the GameCube since he hasn't before. So, I just wanted to make a video so I could show all of us here on YouTube. I kind of cliche to say that, but whatever. So, I'm making a video to showcase this awesome GameCube. So, what I did is I painted the top case in this metallic, Bristolian metallic blue, and it just shines in the sunlight. It's just brilliant. And then for the front, it's this satin uh, tan, and I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to paint this button, the power button, on here for uh, with white. And what I was going to do is I was going to paint these two controllers to match it. There right now is the platinum one. And turns out I had this GameCube and it wasn't working well. So I got another one and just put the case on it. And also what I did is I took out the jewel, whatever you guys call this. Uh, I made it a clear window so you can see the disc spinning. It looks really cool. And so to even get yourself started, you have to go through and take out four of these reverse Torx head screws. And they are a pain to get out. So I would highly recommend you actually go and buy the reverse Torx head. You know, it's like five bucks online. Save yourself the trouble because I had to take pens, melt the ends, because I found a video here, to make the shape and it was just a horrible pain. And so what I ended up doing is I took and took those screws out and replaced them with these Phillips heads, which is a major deal. So I would highly recommend doing that. And so, to get yourself started, you take those out. And it turns on real nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this orange light, and I'm going to put blue in it. What I'm planning on doing is putting two lights inside the disk drive, two lights in the fan outputs, and four lights in here so it lights up all the dots and the controller sockets and so that is gonna look really awesome once I get that done and so yeah it works turns on good awesome so when you look at I got the disc in there and this is a really nice metallic blue inside here and then there's the window so that way you can see the disc spin and it's just really cool and then the tan on the front it's got a satiny shine so, to get your GameCube open, take out those four screws on the bottom. They're in the bottom corners right here. Uh, fell out. Uh, these four corners, take them out. So you flip it upside down, take those out. And then what you do is open up the disk drive, and then the whole cover just slides right off. That is the beauty of the insides of the GameCube. Pretty awesome, huh? And then you can turn it on. And these two little tabs back here, two little tabs, are what make the disk drive recognize that it's closed. So what you'd have to do is you push those two tabs, makes the disk spin. And so it's awesome. So I'll take the disk out so it doesn't get damaged. And so there's the LED for the power. And then what I did is I painted the these on the controller socket are not gonna memory card slots flaps black to match the bottom so what you do I'll take the power out so this comes right off this back plate here comes right off the back and you got your power and uh, AV and digital out outputs so that just comes right off this has a bunch of mechanisms inside of it there's a spring for loading up the for the disc disc cover. It's got the other hinge. And then here's screws for the handle. You can take those off. And then here's the reset button. <laughs> reset. Reset. And then the disc drive it has a little spring in there that makes it pop out. Yeah, the camera. Makes it pop out. And reset. Power. And then that screw. And um, what I did 
So I drilled out. This used to have a piece of plastic, and this had a plastic on the back to cover it up. And what I did, and it snapped in here, what I did is I just drilled that hole out and then sanded off the paint and painted on the back side of this to paint the Triforce on because Zelda, because why not? So that made it clear. And then, so, what you do, what you can do, is you can pop this off. You just pop it off these ports here, and then there's this little, uh, I don't know what you call it, whatever this is, it's like a ribbon, that's what it is, ribbon, power thing. You just wiggle it. Yeah, wiggle. Be less careful than me. Wiggle it. And that pops right out. And that has all four of the controller sockets and the reset button and the power LED. And these two screws come out so you can take the faceplate off. That way you can paint the faceplate any color that you want. And then this is the memory card flaps. Confusing my camera with all this focusing. Um, here is the faceplate or memory card flaps. You just you just have to pop this out. Really, it's really easy. Just pop it right out. And then there's a little spring in there that holds it. So you just pop that out. You can paint those. And then that is the disk drive, which was causing problems in my other GameCube. And then that's the power and the fan. And there's a whole bunch of screws down here, all the way around to get it off so you can get to the bottom but I didn't have to because I was leaving it black and I have this an older GameCube that has serial port 2 which nobody knows what it's for and serial port 1 was the LAN modem adapter and high speed port for the Game Boy player which I don't have and well let's see what else do I want to explain? Um, I think that's pretty much it because uh, I was just wanting to showcase how to open up the GameCube and uh, just to show Mr. No Punky. And uh, that's pretty much it because I was just wanting to showcase. And I'm rambling now because I'm not sure how to end this video. So, yeah, window. It's just really awesome. I'm going to post another video once I get the all the power LED and the, all the lights put in and changed around to blue and uh... Got what I'm planning on doing is what I was gonna do is paint the metallic blue for the face of the controller it's already black on the back because I made that black what I was gonna do was paint all of these gray buttons and the C stick and this stick I was gonna paint those all white not sure how it's going to turn out, but we'll see. And then paint the three, the B, the A, and the Z. It's going to paint all those the tan of the front. And uh, since I'll be painting over the Nintendo GameCube, let's put the Triforce on it. To cover up the Triforce. Or cover, yeah. Where that was, it's going to be the Triforce. And then this is going to be the same, just the wired one with blue on the end. And, uh, pretty much, that's pretty much it, I think. So, yeah, I'll be posting another video soon. And, uh, it'll look really awesome. Maybe in the next couple weeks or so. Anyway, so, thanks for watching this video, and hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm trying to make this short. And, uh, I'll see you in the next video.